Yes, uh, so this is, as you said, the last installment in our SAP Inside Our video series, uh, part six of six. Uh, my name is Hans Lugergal, and I work as the operations and service manager uh, at Red Solution, the SAP consulting arm of Red Commerce. Uh, we went over to the SAP Inside event in June as one of the exhibitors and attendees um, uh, as an SAP consulting partner and service provider. Uh, and uh, we've been creating uh, the series now for the last couple of weeks because we felt it would be good to get an external and independent view on uh, the SAP Insider event and conference and uh, we took that, uh, that mantle on, we did the videos and this is the, the last bit in the, um, in, the, in the series to finish it off and give you our input on the event. So my highlights uh, from, the, from the event, and, and again, have in mind, I'm not an SAP consultant, so I'm not a, a technology uh, expert. I'm more of a um, um, provider of the services around SAP consulting, implementations, and delivery of projects. But from my end, uh, when I went to this event as an exhibitor uh, and as an attendee, what I feel um, the reason for, for going to these things is, is around the opportunity to really network with this vast amount of people in one place. Have in mind 1,500 people from around 30 countries worldwide being in one place over a period of time just talking about SAP is a great opportunity um, to first of all get insight into some of the latest trends uh, and market movers, first of all, SAP is, is, is putting out there, as it's all about new trends, new technologies. It's a great opportunity to meet some individuals, some companies that you've been in touch with, and new companies that you just, just meet over there. And it's, it's, it's a fantastic way as well to, to kind of get a, a feel of how active um, the, uh, the community of the SAP marketplace actually is. Um, so some of the highlights I say, looking at the uh, keynote by Steve Lucas, um, one of the main themes from SAP uh, is, is by far um, doing what they call business transformation through technology innovation. Um, and what, what this basically is, is that at the end of the day, they have a vision about um, everything being interlinked, that the enterprise is completely interlinked from the, um, the user all the way through to the consumer, all the way through to the C-level, and everyone on the same platform, on, the, on, on a simple device, can basically, as a CIO, read how the entire business is performing in X, Y, and Z. As a consumer, you can get the best possible customer service, and as a user, you get the best user experience when using SAP as a system. And I think that's really the main message I got from this year's event, uh, that it's all about now interlinking everything, really putting all of SAP's technology and innovations together and using the best of all of these and, and, and create a common um, platform and, and solution for your entire enterprise. I think uh, if we look at it in, in, in three ways, that I would look at it as, as candidates, if you're a candidate or consultant, um, you should go to an event like this because you have an opportunity to really uh, meet some experts in the field. Uh, say you are a, um, a relatively new consultant to the topic of SAP business intelligence, for example, um, or business objects, and, and you come to one of these events, you will have an opportunity to meet um, the absolute best in the SAP field in your, in your domain. And you can speak with them, you can learn from them, ask them, how do I become to where you are? What do I need to do to, 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 to be where you are at? And you can ask them questions about how can they, um, you know, you can ask them about uh, you know, ways of solving problems and, and ways of progressing yourself. So as a candidate, it's a great way of really meeting um, like-minded people, but also it's an opportunity to meet some actually uh, businesses and end customers and, and consultancies uh, that you could potentially network with and who knows, eventually maybe start working with them in one way or the other. So it's a great networking rent for candidates. For clients, I think it's, it's the best way really of getting insight into what, what technologies are, is, is SAP pushing through? What is it that they want you as a, as a, as a consumer of their products, what is the next big thing? What should you be looking at investing in? What are you gonna do with mobility? What are you gonna do with in-memory, um, uh, computing, etc., cetera, uh, HANA and so forth? It's all about getting a feel of what is it SAP feels and what they see the vision of their product portfolio being and what you as a client can take with you and actually get some return of investment with these new technologies coming out. So a lot of really high quality content as a client and a really good way of understanding these um, products in, in, a, in a lot of depth because you ask the speakers, you ask the people around you about what, what it can actually do. And then lastly, um, consultancies. Um, 
we were an exhibitor, which meant a lot of the other exhibitors were in the consulting business as well. It's a very good way of building up some new um, business connections and some new uh, uh, cooperation opportunities. Um, we over there met some great businesses from the, from the US, from Asia Pacific, uh, and we are now going to be able to go to these guys after we've seen them and spoken with them to actually see if we can collaborate across, across borders. So it's a great way of really meeting some, 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 some new businesses and, and seeing them in the flesh is obviously the best way face to face to, to make anything work. I think, yeah, again, they all said it's a loaded question, and uh, it is a loaded question, and obviously I, I should probably say one of the people I met, and it, I have to admit, they, they were all, you know, obviously they're all great, I'll use the same tactics that they gave me, they're great people, uh, all of them got their individual niches and they got a lot of experience. I have to admit, you know, uh, again, Miko as, a, as, a, as an individual, her energy level and the way that she, um, she comes across is, is, is obviously always very, uh, very interesting and it's, 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 it's like an impact, a bit of a punch to meet her. But equally, you know, Luke, Martin, they're really sharp, they know their stuff and they, 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 can, they can come across with some great points in there. Um, anyway, Joshua, you know, I can't pick one. Let's, let's say, if we look outside of the people I met over there, I would say the, the stuff that John Reed um, is, is bringing and, and De um, um, Howlett is, is bringing out to the market through their, uh, through their little collaboration is, is fantastic. Uh, and it's a really good independent uh, view on, on where SAP is heading. Um, I would have loved to meet them this time around. I didn't get the chance. But it is uh, two of the guys that really want to get to meet in the mentor community. Next time, of course, we, we have the chance. Uh, so I think that's, that, that would be my, my, my preference if we were to, to take one uh, at this point in time at least.